Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk. Today's stimulating conversation is going to be all about myths and common misunderstandings on composting toilets. So grab a cup of joe and join us. <laughs> Our first question of the day. It's the most common question. Very most common question. Does it smell? No. No, not even a little bit. Just, it no. smells like fairies. It doesn't smell like fairies. But because you have soil down in the bottom of there, so when you open that little trap door to go number two, it does smell similar to a gardening store or a nursery because it's soil down in there. So oddly enough, the cocoa core or peat moss really takes over any smells or odors. So no, it does not smell, not even a little. And there's a fan built in. So the fan basically moves any smells directly out the RV. So it's so much more pleasant experience than going in a regular toilet. Yeah. All right. Next question. Yeah. How often do you dump liquids and how often do you dump solids? Well, I'll take... Uh... I'll go for liquids. Okay. <laughs> so liquids, we basically dump liquids every three days or so, just depending on how much we're there in the RV and how often we go. It's just really basic. Yeah. Uh, as for the solids, it usually takes us about two to three, sometimes even four weeks to get to the point where that handle starts to get a little bit hard to turn. That's how we usually know that it's time to dump. Uh, you can also count, and it's anywhere between 60 and 80 uses, but yeah, we just don't We just go by the handle. <laughs> yep, we just go by the handle. It's easier. Yes. We don't have a calendar in the bathroom. <laughs> exactly. Two to three weeks is usually our norm if we're out and about a lot and maybe not using the toilet in the RV as much. Then we can stretch that out to a full four weeks. All right, our next question is, oh, yeah. We get this one every now and then. What about bugs? Do you get bugs? I guess there's been people that have had issues with bugs getting into their composting toilet. And I've... Well, apparently they say if certain peat moss, if you get peat moss, it might have some bugs in it. Um, the only way to really get rid of bugs is use DE, which is diametaceous earth. I believe that's what it's called. You can get it at a pool supply store and that'll solve the problem. We've never had bugs, so we can't speak from experience. Uh, usually if you are going to have bugs, it's usually because there's a problem. Maybe your fan isn't working properly, so it's not carrying out all the moisture. Maybe there's something wrong with your vent, the little uh, mesh part that's supposed to be covering that to prevent bugs from coming in. Maybe that's fallen off or gotten a hole in it. So it's usually, if you have an issue, it means check everything. Yeah. So our next question is, what is the difference between peat and cocoa core? Ah, good question. Peat moss is available at most hardware stores like a Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. Uh, it's a little bit less expensive, but it typically comes in these ginormous bales. I think we have some footage here. Yep, that's me lifting a bale. <laughs> uh, ginormous bales, which we don't really like to carry around in the RV. Cocoa core is a tiny bit more expensive, but it's a much more sustainable option. And coconut core is actually just coconut fiber, which is the outside husk of the coconuts. Yeah. So they take something that would typically be trash because whenever they're harvesting those coconuts they have to do something with those sheddings from the outside and now we're using that and turning it into our composting material. Yeah. So we're recycling our fiber that we're pooing on and then composting. It's fun. It's like science project every day. <laughs> exactly. And coconut core is more sustainable because it takes like how like hundreds of years oh, or hundreds something? of years to make peat moss or something like that is what we've read. Yeah so it takes a long time to grow I guess is that trees? Moss, I don't know. We don't live in the Pacific Northwest. Whatever sphagnum so. <laughs> peat moss is, that's what takes a really long time to grow. So coconut core is the way to go. Yep. Oh, and you can find it just about any hydroponic store or of course online. We bought our last one at a hydroponic store and I think we got a, do we have what we got there? No. No? Yeah. Anyway, it was a pretty big size. It's, it looks like it's gonna last us between eight months and a year. Yeah and it probably was about that long and it's about that thick. And it was 30 bucks, 30 I think? 30 bucks, yeah. Yeah, something like that, so. Yeah, that's a question that we're asking, that somebody else asked later. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to just stay on subject Jumping here. the gun here. Where can I purchase cocoa core? Oh, well, there you go. It's also called See? cocoa core, it's called coconut fiber, you can call it any of those, but if you search cocoa core, C-O-I-R, mm -hmm. that's usually what comes up. What about uh, peat moss? Peat moss has to be sphagnum peat moss, and it, you have to make sure it has those words. Yes, it has to have all three of those words, sphagnum, peat, moss. 
And why is that? Um, if you buy the miracle Grow kind, it has extra chemicals in it and your toilet will start to smell and it won't compost properly. That would um, be bad. The other thing is if you get just regular peat moss, it might be a different variety and it won't compost the same either. So it has to say sphagnum peat moss. And by all means, don't go out in your backyard and just start picking up moss off the ground and trying to compost with that. That's not going to work either. So sphagnum peat moss. Apparently one guy actually sent his daughter out in their backyard because they live in the Pacific Northwest and he was like, there's tons of moss growing out there. Why would I bother buying it? But yeah. Bad. That doesn't work. <laughs> All right, our next one. Uh, does the waste continue to compost in the bag? So when you dump your toilet, you dump your compost, yeah. you dump it into a trash bag if you don't have a composting pile, and it does continue to compost inside the bag. And actually, we take an, a step further. We use composting bags. So that way, our compost goes in the composting bag. You put it in the dumpster. It continues to compost, and before long, it'll be absolutely nothing but dirt. Yep. And the great thing is, is when you're using those composting bags, that way if you want to go ahead and dump your toilet and maybe, you know, just like you would take out your trash, you stick it maybe in the back of your car or whatever, if the campground you're staying at or the farm or wherever you may be, if they have a composting pile, you can actually just stick that bag right into the composting pile. You don't have to worry about dumping the Everything toilet right. itself yeah. over on the composting pile. So it just keeps things really clean, neat, and super easy. But make sure you ask before you just take your uh, composting toilet over there and just start throwing it in their <laughs> pile. They might not like that. Yeah, it's good to let them know just in case they are using it for vegetables and stuff like that. It is still considered safe, but it's just recommended to use it on... Non-edible plants. Yeah, non-edible plants. Yeah. Thank you, that's the word it's <laughs> for. All right. Is the toilet safe, sanitary, legal? <laughs> I'll yes. take it. I'll take it. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, there's a few things you need to know. Within six hours of going number two, the bacteria, the, the harmful bacteria is dead. And because you're separating the liquids from the solids with the composting toilet, then they're not actually creating a biohazard. So it's a lot more safe than just what a regular toilet would be. Yeah, absolutely. And urine on its own is completely sterile which is the point of this composting toilet is the fact that it's keeping the solids separate from the liquids. So with those liquids, I mean, technically if you're stuck out in the wilderness and you were gonna die, you can, well, drink your own. I mean, we all saw that movie, what was it, 70? Some 83, and, seven 142 hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. That one. Yeah, the one yeah. guy where the guy eats off his arm. No, he doesn't eat it oh. off, he had to cut it oh, off. Oh yeah, God, that was bad. Eat it off. It wasn't that <laughs> But as far as legality goes, uh, some BLMs will let you sprinkle it out, others won't. Make sure you check your local yeah. you know, law enforcement or whoever's in charge of the area you're staying. Make sure you can bury your, your compost or make sure you can dump your, your liquids out on the water um, or out on the ground. So before you go and do it. Yeah, not out on the water. Yeah. Well, you can dump it in the water too. Like if you're out there in sea or something, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, out at sea is completely different. All right, next question. Toilet, toilet paper. paper. You want it or you want me to get it? Go for it. <laughs> yes, you can use toilet paper. A lot of people think you can't use the toilet paper and you have to, I guess, put it into a separate bin like you're in Mexico or something. Um, it's not the case. No, oh, not that all Mexicans can't, you know, you know well, what I'm saying. At a resort. Well, the septic tank and, issues, right? Yeah. But no, you can actually put toilet paper right down into the composting part of the toilet. The toilet. And the only downside is if you use a lot of toilet paper, then you fill up your composting area fast. So then you're dumping more often. So it's nice to use, you know, the minimal amount and choose a toilet paper like an RV or marine toilet paper that is made to break down rapidly. And that's the main key. Yeah. A lot of women especially ask, you know, well, can I, is there such a thing as too much toilet paper down in the composting part? Well, no is the overall answer, but you will fill up your toilet really quickly if you put every single piece of toilet paper down there. So for me, I kind of use the general rule of thumb. If it's, uh, if I open the trap door to use the bathroom, then the toilet paper goes in there. If I don't, then I actually stick it into the bathroom trash can. So that's what I do and it definitely works out fine, yeah. but you can feel free to put it all in there if you want to, it's not gonna hurt anything. Yeah. All right, next question, who's faster? Yes. Ah, while we're talking about peeing, <laughs> men, guys, do you have to sit down to pee? That's, mm -hmm. you know, I've talked to a lot of people and they say that's a make or break thing for them and they don't want to sit down to pee. Well, you don't have to. 
you can actually aim strategically to the side or to the back so that your urine kind of swoops around and goes into the tank. It will be directed into the liquid tank. The only downside is splatter. So if you don't mind cleaning up after yourself every single time, then go for it, stand up. But most people say it's, it's pretty much just easiest to sit down to pee. And especially when you're driving down the road, you don't want to be standing up and peeing. Yeah, <laughs> bad idea. And I honestly don't know that you should be standing to pee in any moving vehicle, yeah. <laughs> ever. It just doesn't seem it's good. It's kind of a nice challenge. Yeah, you can, I mean, you can go for it. I mean, I'll take you down a bumpy dirt road and we'll see what happens, but you're cleaning it up. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Do you put a bag in the composting bin? You want to take that? Sure, yeah. Um, if you watch our video on how to prep and dump your composting toilet, you'll see that there's no bag. You don't need a bag, doesn't require a bag, and if you put one in there, it'll actually get caught up in your agitator. So you really don't want to put a bag down in there. It's not necessary and it's okay to have a little bit of soil left in the in the composting bin whenever you have dumped it. It kind of helps start the next process for your next batch. So no bags needed. It's one less thing to use. Is it easy to remove the toilet from the RV? Well, considering we're using it as our side table, I would say yes, it's very easy to remove the toilet from the RV. Couple screws, that's it. It's super simple. Yeah. So if you really wanted to get crazy and were overly comfortable, you could technically just stick it outside yeah. each time you go. go wild camping. Yeah. Hey, I invite anyone to come over right now and uh, enjoy our loo. <laughs> <laughs> it brings a whole new meaning to the word outhouse. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. You don't even need the house, it's just <laughs> the outside part. Okay, next question is, how much is coconut coral peat moss? Mm -hmm. We already kind of answered that. Yep. It looks big. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's is it? what she said. <laughs> the, uh, the, the toilet, toilet yeah. yeah okay. The toilet is not big. It's obviously, you can see the size right here, which kind of gives you a good it's overall. It's perfect for two coffee cups. Exactly. So, no, it's not large, but make sure you really do your research whenever you're looking into composting toilets. Some of them are really large, and it's because they're really made for household use, not necessarily for RV or marine use. So, ours is a great size. I think we've got dimensions yeah there's dimensions uh i'll put them up somewhere here there somewhere yeah but just make sure you understand the dimensions and how large your your bathroom is in the rv or your sailboat or your small cabin whatever many many there's only a couple that are actually the right size so you know make sure yeah. nature's head is a great one that's the one we have it definitely Works. double check your size and measure your bathroom first okay now we're down to the very exciting questions <laughs> can it handle explosive diarrhea if it comes out of your body, it can handle it. Yep. That's the bulk of what you need yep. to know. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the manufacturer says no problem, but if you have diarrhea often, then uh, it Maybe might you mess should... up your, uh, it might mess up your humidity levels inside your toilet. Maybe you shouldn't eat so much Mexican. Yeah, or yeah, that's what I was going to say. Food. Dietary, <laughs> like cut back on something, less stimulating coffee, I don't know. All right, can handle vomit. The question is, well the answer is, yeah. not the question is, the answer is yes, but the question is, would you really want to do that? Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah. will, I will totally choose the trash can yeah. every time. Yeah. You can, you can open that trap door, and granted, whenever you look in there, remember you're turning the agitator every time after you go to the bathroom. So. When you look in there, it looks like soil. Yeah. It doesn't look, you're not staring at whoever was in there last. Floating Mr. Hankies. Exactly, <laughs> no Mr. Hankies. But I just still don't, I don't know, I don't want to put my head down in my toilet ever, yeah. really. I just, I prefer a trash can. I guess if you're on a sailboat and you can't make it up fast enough and there's not a trash can, then I guess that maybe yeah, I can well, see, and, but and I would keep a trash can. Some people get motion sickness. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a valid question, yeah. but uh, for me, I would, if you really, if you have a tendency to throw up, keep a, a trash can somewhere handy that's easy to get to. I would say that's better than the, the toilet, but it is absolutely 100% okay to uh, yeah. put any bodily functions in there. Yeah. Okay. Hope you can hear us. There's a lot of wind here. We're out in nature, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. Ooh, the next big one is... <laughs> no, we already went over that one. <laughs> Do you put a bag in the no, comp... Uh, no, I already did that one. All right, she's way behind. Why is a composting toilet ah. better yes. than a regular toilet? Do you want to take it? No, I'm, I'm just caught up now. So. Oh, okay. Do you want to take it? Okay, I will take this one because girls 
sometimes are more squeamish than the boys. But then again, I've got ladies uh, Facebooking saying that I can't convince my husband. <laughs> so it doesn't smell at all. Really, it smells less than a regular toilet. And after having our composting toilet for the past eight, Seven nine months, months eight, whatever, yeah. yeah it's been, I would never go back to a regular toilet. I actually feel like this is cleaner, more sanitary, and less icky than a regular toilet. And I know you probably don't believe me, yeah. but that is absolutely true. Uh, it just, it's so much easier to deal with. The, the no black tank, the not dumping through that hose, you don't get the odors. It no just, biohazard. It's no biohazard. You don't get those funky chemicals. It's just non-toxic. It's yeah. just better. Yeah no chemicals whatsoever it's yeah great. you don't have to put chemicals down in there so you're not having to worry about am i buying something with formaldehyde in it yeah. nothing it's it's better for the environment and it's really truly safer for you as well especially traveling yeah. in a mobile environment oh yeah and you know the first time i wish i wish they could actually have test models where you could go and just you know go to a location and go in one and see because the first time you go you just assume god it's gonna smell and you go and it's like I don't smell anything. It's, it's so much more pleasant than going in a normal toilet with a puddle of water sitting in there with your floating hanky. Well, and I think a lot of people assume that it's going to smell because they've used pit or vault toilets oh, before. Yeah, it's not this, a vault toilet. This it's... is not a vault toilet. This is yeah. completely different because it is keeping the liquids separated from the solids. And that's the huge giant key in keeping those odors down. When you mix the liquids and the solids, that's where that funky sewage smell comes from. So. Yeah. It doesn't smell like that. This is different than using something where it's all combined. Okay, so another technical question, temperatures for composting. Mm. So the temperatures you want to keep the toilet at in order to compost are 55 degrees and higher. So if it's lower than 55 degrees inside your RV, it's not going to compost the same and it's just going to sit there and become dormant. Uh, it's not going to be bad, but it's not going to compost. Right. So keep the temperatures around the toilet over 55 and you won't have any problems. Right, which, I mean, if you're anything like me, I don't like the inside of my RV any closer than 50, yeah. or any colder than 55 degrees. Yeah. But say you're going into some sort of a really cold environment, you're gonna go winter camping and it's dry camping for a week. If it's one week, it's not a big deal. So if you're keeping your RV a little bit colder because you're dry camping, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. When you go back to those warmer temperatures, it'll start its process again. So yeah. it's not the end of the world. Yeah. And the most offensive question of all. Yep. So do you do you really, really like your toilet? Really? Do you really like it? We get that all the time. People want to email us or instant message us. Well, I saw, you know, I read on your blog or I saw in your video, but do you really like it? Well, we're not lying. Yeah. We, we're not getting paid to like promote the toilet. So this, and we don't care whether you buy this toilet or another one. We're just trying to answer the questions yeah. and get people the information about composting toilets because it's taboo. Yeah, I mean, share the joy. It's yeah. like we enjoy going every day. <laughs> it's just such an experience. I, I don't feel the same way, <laughs> but uh, it. I want to share my go with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know. Yes, we love it. We, we love it. Yeah. 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 Uh, like I said, if I don't think I will ever have a regular toilet again. Even if we decided to settle down and go back to uh, sticks and bricks, as they say, yeah. I would still have a composting toilet. Yeah. So, that's it. And we, yeah. We've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about it. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Yep. Let and us know. What you think, and if you've got additional questions, and then we'll uh, we'll have another yeah. round of stimulating conversation. Yeah. So, until next time, yeah. see ya. <laughs> Enjoy the go. Yeah. <laughs> Want to know more about the composting toilets? Get the whole scoop on the poop by clicking below.